Hey folks, my name is John Oaks and I'm here with Hagster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. Once again, I come to you uh, to go over the newest addition to our inventory here. Um, this is a very nice car here sitting beside me, a 1989 Pontiac Firebird Formula. And this thing, as you can see it's sitting here, looks just as good in real life as what it probably does there in the video and the photos there. The paint on this car, really nice. This car is pretty much what we'll consider a, um, I don't know if you want to call it so much of a survivor, but it's Oh, it's all original so yes it is a survivor um, as far as the car the body panels and so forth what you see here is all the original stuff um, I believe this is all the original colors now it has had some respray on it um, but again everything is the original color on this car and it is all original numbers match uh, motor transmission rear end all of that stuff there so as we walk around um, just keep notice uh, of you know all the panels and stuff I usually call out gaps elevations this car everything fits just about as good as what you're gonna see on a car like this um, so we won't call that out too too much we just kind of want to talk about the specifics about the car really so uh, in stating that we'll get started right away here so first and foremost on our Firebird formula here it does retain the stock original hood here on the car um, you're gonna see it does have the decals here on it for the 5.0 liter fuel injected motor that is in this that is again what is in there it's a 5.0 liter 305 turbo fire fuel injected motor um, as far as the rest of the car again you're gonna see the two-tone color scheme here the red with the silver on the bottom all separated by that reddish orange uh, pinstripe that goes all the way around the car as far as the wheels and the tires go on this particular vehicle we've got the original uh, OE uh, wheels here these are 16 inch aluminum the Pontiac Firebird wheels with the center caps as far as the tires go a nice set of Kumo Exta uh, 245 50 R16 on those as far as the rubber so those are 16 inch wheels same size wheel and tire all the way around on this car of course, on this particular car, as far as down the side, you do have the color matched uh, molding there right down the center of the door. That's just kind of used as protection. A lot of, um, you know, dealers and, and customers would have that installed um, to help protect against like door dings and such like that. Uh, and which, by the way, there are none of those either. You can see that our car is going to have all of the correct formula decals on it, as well as all the Firebird emblems too that we see, the Firebird decals that we see around on this car, for instance, like we see here on the sail panel. Um, as far as all of the glass on the car this is all original glass it is all slightly tinted here as far as the windshield side glass it does have a set of tinted t-tops uh, and as we open things up here a little bit and see more as far as the seals and weather stripping again i just want to let you know that <clears throat> seals weather strips and so forth are all in great shape um, no leaks or anything with this car uh, T-tops, even, even those seal up nice and tight on the car. Let's go ahead and open our door up. And inside, again, we're going to find the original interior here. All cloth uh, upholstery here, so you've got your front bucket seats with the headrest. Factory dash, factory instrumentation. That's the factory center console there also right in the middle there. Um, it is an automatic. It is the 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Doors in this car, these are power doors. So you're gonna have power door locks, power windows. You also have the control right in the center console so that you can uh, manipulate both the driver and passenger side mirrors on this car right from one button there on the center console. Um, it's got the factory AM FM cassette uh, radio in it uh, tilt wheel it does have the cruise control and everything right there um, and it does have uh, the factory air conditioning in it too which is all working as well like I said all of your weather strips and all of your seals here around the windows around your doors here even has the bump stops here 
all of that in great shape. And again, with your door panels, everything is all intact here. It even has your little pouches down in the corner of each door here for storage, as well as when we get to the other side there and look in up where you normally would have your glove box, it's gonna have a little pouch up there too for some extra storage as well. As we close our door, you'll see that everything fits nice and tight. The side of these cars here, nice and super straight all the way from front to back. Of course, you've got your door here for your gas uh, fill neck. Again, all of that is in great shape there. Of course, we have the rear spoiler back here on the hatch. That is all very nice there. Again, the paint and so forth, all super nice. Of course, you've got your rear hatch window here, your glass. Um, this is tinted, obviously, as you can see. You do have the rear defrost on this as well. And again, all of that is all functioning properly. As far as the back end of the car, the rear bumper, obviously, you have the plastic bumpers, front and rear. Um, back bumper is in excellent shape. Shape. There's no checks or anything in the paint there. It looks all nice, no cracks or anything. Super nice looking back here. Tail light lenses, same thing. No cracks or chips in those. As we come to the other side, same thing here we're seeing. No chips or cracks there. Down below, you've got your formula decals. You got your little black accent pieces down here. Uh, again, that two-tone paint there, obviously you see that. And then down here, really nice set of Flowmaster um, tailpipe extensions, uh, a slash cut. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I don't know if those are chrome or if they're stainless, but in either case, they are very, very nice. Now I'm gonna grab our key. We're gonna go ahead and open our hatch area up here and show you what that looks like. Now keep in mind this is power, so when you pop the, the hatch, it gives it just, you wanna give it a second or two there for it to actually release so you can raise it up. And there you go, we should be able to lift it up now. Again, this is all set up on your, uh, your, tor your strut rods here to help hold it up, which obviously that is working perfectly. As far as the underside here, again, not too much really to go over. You have your interior trim piece up here, which is all screwed down just like it should be from the factory. You've got all your uh, you know, drain plugs and bump stops and so forth underneath here. Um, obviously that latch with the electric release and so forth, that is all working good. You also have your um, your cover back here too so that you can pull that across you'll latch it back here and that conceals whatever you're you have back here so that nobody can just look in and see what you're carrying back here also what you see right here that's the covers for your t-tops so that is all included with this car again your carpeting back here in the rear hatch area excellent condition as well as all of your interior panels there's no discoloration no nothing these things are this thing is very nice on the inside as far as your seals and weather stripping all the way around but you can see how nice those seals look just like they were brand new from the factory there and they probably were from the factory so everything's going to seal Seal up really good here. Again, no leaks. Uh, it's going to seal up from the outside elements very, very well. So the same thing as what we did when we uh, unlatched it down here. When we close it, you're going to close it. It's going to latch and then it'll electrically suck that down just like so. All right, now on to the passenger side again. Super straight all the way down the side of the car. We have already been over all of the you know intricacies about this car. The matching formula decals, the Firebird emblems up here on the sail panels. Again, we've been over the condition of the glass and everything. All we really need to do is open this up, show you the interior now from the passenger side of the car. And again, no secrets, no, uh, no, nothing for us to hide here. This interior is in excellent shape for an 89 Firebird. Again, no rips or tears in any of the seat upholstery, no rips or tears in any of the carpeting. Center console's in great shape. Your actual dash pad there in great shape. There's no cracks in any of that. Again, all of our glass is great. 
seals and weather strips all the way around in great shape. And as I said there on the other side, where your uh, glove box normally would be on some on most cars, you do have that pouch right there for a little bit of extra storage. We'll close this up. Again, that shuts very nice. We'll go ahead now to the other side or to the front of the car. On our way there, the antenna here mounted up on the front fender. This is a power antenna. So of course, whenever you have the radio on, that's gonna go ahead and uh, extend. Whenever you shut it off, it will then go ahead and retract back down into the fender. As far as the front end goes, again, here is your typical Pontiac Firebird Formula front end. Plastic bumper here, again, in great shape. I don't see any checks or anything in the paint. No cracks whatsoever. Looks really good. Of course, with the Firebirds here, you had the flip up lights, which again are functional. They do work fine. All the glass, as far as the lenses and the lights have been checked, those are in great shape. Uh, your uh, turn signals and your parking lights, same thing, all in great shape. Again, you can kind of see the uh, kind of the contour of that hood, how it fits here. Your gaps and everything are super great on this car. Windshield in great shape, no chips or cracks. Windshield wipers right here. And again, those wipers are in good shape as well. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pop the hood so that we can look underneath there and see what we've got under there for an engine. And then we'll just briefly talk a little bit about the drive line um, of which we will finish our discussion on the drive line once we get this car on the lift and we can see underneath it. Uh, that's kind of when I really go into those things in depth. So let's go ahead and raise this up. Once again, the hood latch works. It is on the strut rods there again, which that helps tremendously. It does hold the hood up. First thing we're gonna notice is underneath the hood here, all of your hood insulation is all present here intact. You've got the original decals all the way, uh, not only including like your emissions and so forth, but uh, you know, stuff like the uh, AC and belts and so forth like that. Uh, here, here's your belts on the top of the radiator hold down. Um, so again, all of that stuff is right here and present on this car. As far as the motor goes, like I uh, kind of started off with there, this is the original motor. Um, numbers match. It is the 5.0 liter 305 uh, turbo fire fuel injected motor. Uh, as you can see here, it's running the factory air cleaner and air cleaner assembly. Um, all of your tubing and your snorkels underneath here, all present and all fastened down just as they should be. Factory radiator, electric fan, uh, it's got your factory um, serpentine belt assembly on it here. As you can see, factory air conditioning, all hooked up, plumbed, and all functional in this car as well. Um, it does have power brakes and power steering. They are disc brakes on the front, drum brakes out on the rear. And yes, it does have the emergency brake present, all hooked up and all functional. Um, really, the only thing that's changed on this car that I could say uh, from probably OEM um, looks to be maybe the distributor on the car. Looks like they've upgraded to an MSD distributor, HEI nonetheless. Um, and uh, a set of MSD plug wires also. All of that doesn't hurt the car, actually a nice uh, upgrade there as far as the actual distributor goes and the plug wires. Um, other than that, uh, don't really see anything um, too much underneath here other than all factory stuff here that we need to go over. Um, besides the uh, original motor here, we've got the original transmission. That is an automatic transmission. It is a 700 R4 automatic overdrive. Um, so that's gonna help you as far as all your cruising. You can even get on the highway. It'll shift into overdrive and it's free cruising from that point on. Um, the drive shaft, obviously, it's going to be balanced. And then, of course, we end up with the 10 bolt posi rear end with a 343 gear in that. Um, this, just this, the whole entire car, this is just an excellent looking car here. Um, so, if you're, you know, interested, if you're looking for a Firebird formula in this era, uh, this is definitely one to check out. Um, as I always go over with 
everybody as I'm doing these videos, keep in mind that the price that you see on our website, the retail price, that is going to include uh, free enclosed shipping um, anywhere within the 48 contiguous states of the United States of America. It's also going to be backed by our Hankster's 3,000 mile, three month uh, powertrain warranty. So what that means is anything happens to anything internally lubricated on the engine, transmission, and or rear end all you got to do is call us up we'll start you through the warranty process and we'll work with you every step of the way through that um, we're the only dealership out there that offers a warranty on these classic cars um, and for that that's why we are you know we stand behind our vehicles what we sell here um, again accessories additional uh, accessories if there's anything that you would ever want to have added uh, it might not be for this car but maybe another car that you're looking at and you just happened upon this video um, always reach out to us by way of phone call email and or text message um, let us know what it is you're wanting to add it could be anything it could be you know maybe not in this case but on another car maybe you want to add air conditioning maybe you want to change wheels and tires whatever it is definitely reach out tell us what it is we'll be glad to get you a quote on parts and labor to have that stuff got in here and installed for you for your purchase um, also as I always point out too um, if when you're viewing this video on our website and or anywhere else that it may be advertised on if for some reason you're not seeing you know what you need to see a, a video a picture whatever it might not be uh, or might not be there Call us also, contact us, tell us what it is that you need. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you out uh, in the purchasing process of your next classic car. So uh, again, um, with that said, we're done with our walk around here. Um, we will now get this on our lift so we can show you the complete underside. And then after we're done there, we'll finish up with starting this up and letting this motor run, give it a few revs for you so you get to hear with that motor, along with the full exhaust that it's got on it here, what it all sounds like. So folks, here we are once again. We are back here on our lift. We've got our 1989 Pontiac Firebird formula here up in the air. We're gonna go through this car as we always do, front to back, um, just going over everything that we can see under here, the frame, the floors, uh, all of the steering, suspension, drive line. Um, if you can see it under here, we're gonna try to touch base on that here today. So um, starting up front, uh, the very first thing I'm gonna see here, uh, aside from the nose piece the bottom end of it is I'm gonna see the front air dam underneath here um, I'm also looking up and I'm gonna see where we've got our stock or OEM radiator up here uh, with the fan um, as far as the suspension and the, the beginnings of it here that I'm gonna talk about we've got a, a really big here sway bar on it that's gonna help this car handle tremendously uh, the sway bar bushings here at the frame uh, those frame mounts as well as the end length here those all look to be in really good shape I don't see any splits or anything like that everything looks nice and tight of course the steering on this car power steering your drag link pitman arm tie rods all of that stuff all looks to be in good condition all of the grease fittings look nice and clean and as far as being maintained everything's been going over here checked out and made sure that it's good roadworthy stuff here for us um, as far as the rest of the suspension here all you're going to have here is just kind of your factory stock oem stamp steel components so your upper and lower a arms those are all stock a arms ball joints and such are all in good shape and they have been greased and maintained while here and checked over um, your springs and so forth all of that is in good condition here as well uh, as with the power steering on the car we also have power brakes uh, and on this particular car we've got disc brakes up front drums out on the rear of the car and then to finish off out at the ends here the wheels and tires so our wheels on this particular car these are the factory 16 inch aluminum uh, Pontiac Firebird formula wheels here they do have the center caps there also and then as far as the tires go a set of Kumo extra tires and the size on those let me get that for you here real quick that is a 245 
50 R16, and that's the same size tire at all four corners of the car. When we work our way back just slightly here, now we're going to find ourselves underneath the engine and transmission. Uh, the engine, this is going to be the original numbers matching motor for this particular car. This is the 5.0 liter 305 cubic inch small block Chevy. Um, it is a uh, turbo fire fuel injected motor. Um, it also has the uh, factory original uh, 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission transmission oil pan on the motor as well as the trans pan nice and dry all the way around and of course it does have that flywheel cover the torque uh, converter and flywheel cover here also um, but like i said everything nice and dry as far as the frame and the floors here as we can see underneath here everything looks to be really good again this is an 89 firebird formula nothing has been touched underneath here this is it um, so you can just see how how well it's been taken care of through the years floors look great underneath here all solid I don't see any patches at all the frame looks good of course we can see our transmission uh, tail shaft mount here um, that's all in good shape the cross member and the mount um, the actual output shaft seal here that's in good condition no leaks there or drips of any kind of fluid whatsoever um, the exhaust system comes off of that stock exhaust manifold at the engine it wires in the one here comes around you still have the OEM catalytic converter and then of course back all the way here to the transverse mounted single muffler with the dual outlets on it a real nice set of uh, slash cut chrome tailpipes on it back there the whole exhaust uh, looks to be welded and or clamped at every uh, connection um, that you can this car retains all of the heat shields and so forth that would have been on it from factory um, so you know you're protected there um, all of your lines run nice and neat right up through the tunnel here uh, everything's all arranged and organized very neatly there um, so yeah uh, no issues there again all of those lines look to be nice and dry all the way back to the rear of the car here now as far as getting to the rear the first thing we have is the drive shaft uh, again this is going to be a balanced drive shaft so it's going to eliminate you know a lot of that drive line vibration that we may have there in the car um, your rear end this is going to be your uh, factory oem rear end here this is a 10 volt rear i believe it's posi with a 343 gear on it um, and you can see it's got the sway bar on the back end as well so this car is going to handle really really well having all these components shocks all look good the control arms all look good too emergency brake cables all hooked up as well you can see the torque arm here that's bolted to the rear end and goes all the way up there again the bushings at the front here that all is in good condition too to absorb that shock from the transfer whenever you're getting on and off of the gas um, again the wheels and tires same as what we saw up front you can kind of take a look at the condition there but again the same 16 inch Pontiac uh, wheels, the aluminum wheels with those Kuma X the tires. Again, all of which, all the sizes are all the same. Um, as far as uh, the rest of the rear here, you do have the pannard bar. Um, that's gonna laterally locate that rear end and keep it centered in the car. Springs and such, those all look good. I've already mentioned the shocks, all of your um, bushings at the shock mounting locations, those are all in great shape. Like I said, uh, exhaust is all finished off very nice here. I think that this is probably a Flowmaster muffler. It looks the part, um, but I just can't see anything so it may be stamped on the top side of it where I can't see uh, but like I said tailpipes all look good um, the provisions and so forth back here for the trunk and everything all of that looks good and you can see back here even those heat shields are intact um, so that's pretty much it uh, for our 1989 Pontiac Firebird formula uh, from underneath we'll go ahead now lower this car off the lift and we'll go ahead and start that motor up. Yeah. 